Hey guys, this is your host, Mary Jane, from Mary Jane's Ghost Adventures, and I'm finally kind of back. Um, as you can see, I haven't been around lately. I've been on and off kind of thing because I've had a condition since September, since last September, my 40th birthday. So, um, I've been shaking on and off, and it's my whole body. So it's my arms, my legs. It was really extremely difficult to walk, to even concentrate or do anything because of the shakiness. So it was extremely difficult to do any videos. So that's why I did videos of my condition to upload it and uh, have you guys know what's been going on because I know I have a lot of followers and a lot of people have been donating to help me towards my condition to get a debt, which I am finally debt free. Um, so that really helped, but yeah, it was extremely difficult. I'm still not a hundred percent, but I am a lot better and I haven't worn makeup since this started. <laughs> so today I finally put on makeup and I wanted to put on my Matthew Bigby outfit since I finally have him up on my wall. And I've been kind of redecorating my place because of that, because right now, because of my condition, it's hard for me to get out, so I can't really tell as many stories, so I want a better background, so that's why I have him up there. I also want to do some that's close by that you could stay posted for about Matthew Big B, following his book, so those will be coming up soon, and that will be like close to the cemetery, so it's not too far away from home. So I'm hoping to do that in the next few weeks, but because of my medication, mm, my medical condition, which is still unknown, I've been having to uh, work around this condition and I didn't start doing my medication until about a month or two. So getting used to that has been really hard and I had a, like a really bad past few days because of that, but now I feel good and I've been shaking, but not as much as I used to be. Uh, and you could look on my past videos if you want to see my condition and all that. Uh, we still don't know what the cause is, but I did get a heating blanket. And I find that when I when I start shaking, as soon as I go underneath the heating blanket, it kind of goes away. But then I end up falling asleep as well. So <laughs> that's part of it. And that's usually because of poor circulation. So we kind of always knew that could be part of this situation, but we didn't fully know. And then, because of the medication that I'm on, it's actually for low blood pressure, which I've always, always had an uh, issue with. Because some of you know, and some of you may not know that I was a surviving triplet, a miracle surviving triplet, so I was the only one, and I was 2.1 ounce when I was born. I lived in an incubator for about three to four months, so nothing was fully developed. And so, yeah. That's been extremely difficult. Um, I still haven't been able to edit videos. That's why I kind of post them right away. So I do apologize if I can't really edit it. It's just that it's really hard to have the time because I sleep quite a lot more than I used to. But I am trying and uh, redecorating and doing stuff has really helped. And I think once I switch back over to the medication, that will help a lot more. So, poor circulation and low blood pressure is definitely uh, reasons for it. But as I said, we're all guessing. It's still, the neurologist doesn't know. We're still waiting for more tests to be done at the hospital and try to find out what this is because it's got to be a little more. And it's been. Like I said, extremely difficult to do anything, to even do videos and watch TV. It's really hard to do because when you're constantly shaking, that's all that you're thinking about. So the past two months, I've been doing a lot of cooking and a lot of cleaning and a lot of reorganizing. So I haven't really had time to do my ghostly adventures. So that is why I'm kind of focused right now on Matthew Bailey Bigby as he has always been an obsession and I've been reading so much about him more. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to do a short, short video on that. But I am going to Shiatsu today. Um, it's a Japanese massage place, but they actually do um, thumbnails 
for pressure points and I find that really helps with the circulation and stress. It doesn't cost a lot of money but it's like 45 bucks for an hour and it's your full body. So it is really, really good and if you, if you just want to go just for relaxation, I highly recommend it. It's a Canadian Shiatsu College in North Vancouver. Um, I don't know all the info, but you could just Google it. They're pretty, there's only one school that does it, so that's why I go up to North Van. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick, quick update and show what I've been doing. <laughs> so this is my Matthew Bigby part, and because you can't see it, I'm going to move the camera over a bit more. I got some phantom stuff here, as usual, but I added on some more stuff, and more stuff is actually coming to add on and my freddy cougar i have right behind me so that's uh new to the backdrop <laughs> which is pretty cool but because it's not right by big b it's hard to do that and i also ordered um a bunch of math uh Matthew, <laughs> a bunch of freddy cougar stuff i i wish i could order more matthew big b stuff but there's limited stuff that you could get for uh matthew big b so I've been working on my shrine. I've also been looking on my place. So if you could see, this is my wall to, that I've been working on. <laughs> and it's slowly coming on. I kind of ran out of tape, so I'm going to redo that one. Um, and like I said, I've been doing a lot of cooking and cleaning and sleeping. So, that's why I haven't been around lately, and so I wanted to do something a little different with my Matthew Bigby stuff as well, and show you guys what I've been up to, but I have been doing a lot better, thankfully, and I have been trying to get out at least two times a week. It's still pretty difficult to do, but um, I do it anyways <laughs> when I can, when I have to, but even when I'm not going out, I'm still very active, like here I've been redecorating my wall, which takes a lot of time because of, I use wall tape, and then Freddy Cougar, and then Matthew Bailey Bigby up here, so it's not like I haven't been doing anything, and like I said, I've been cooking and cleaning a lot, and reorganizing and selling stuff that I no longer need or want, so, um, yeah, I've been pretty busy, and I do have quite a lot of videos still to come, and I just wanted to do another update in my Big B outfit with my makeup on, since I finally feel good, and thank you guys for all your love and support. I'm not going to travel until this condition is 100%, uh, where I'm not shaking at all. Like, right now I'm not shaking, but I was 20 minutes ago, so... I never know when it's going to happen, and because of the medication, um, it's really hard to travel, <laughs> and I don't want something to happen when I'm in Victoria, so the only time I'm going to go traveling is for my birthday. I'll probably end up going to James Bay Inn again for like a week for my birthday, but we'll see when that is, because that's so far away. But that's the next time I plan to go to Victoria. I do miss it a lot. And I hope uh, my friends and my fans are in Victoria. I know you guys are still watching and still supporting me because you guys have been donating towards me or sending me messages of encouragement. And a lot of people keep saying, why do you keep doing these videos? And I keep saying, well, I have a fan base and a lot of friends who continue to support me. And they want to know these updates, and that's why I do these updates. <laughs> so, uh, that is the thing. But I hope you like my Matthew Big B shrine up here. <laughs> so, it's not too bad. I still have a lot more that I'm wanting to reorganize with the uh, Matthew Big B too. So, stay posted. Sorry for... My runny nose. <laughs> That's actually from allergies. It's not from being sick. And I know I don't have COVID, so that's no problem. I am going to try to get vaccinated in the next couple of weeks because when I do want to travel again, you have to be vaccinated. So 
that's why you gotta do it and also even though i'm kind of against it i'm also for it because i want this to be gone so we could get back to our normal lives and so we could travel because i, I really do miss it a lot and i'm hoping for my 45th birthday i could go to japan i've been saving for that as well as learning japanese in my sleep so we'll see if that happens hopefully soon <laughs> in a couple of years at least so yeah uh that's all for the update once again this is your host mary jm from mary jm the pursuit adventures and i show you the life and ghost of sir matthew Bailey bigby as well as emily carr's ghost and a bunch bunch more ghost stories mainly from victoria and vancouver but mainly victoria because it is the most haunted places in bc and stay tuned because lots lots more videos will be coming i'm still alive <laughs> i'm still here and i'm bringing you more more videos so if you do like the videos about the, my medical condition and want to keep uh being updated please let me know on that too because i've been a little behind on my youtube and <laughs> because i couldn't get in for a while and if you guys don't know i have a new facebook fan page because i got hacked so i've been restarting that as well i also have a new collage for that that i'm posting pretty soon so yeah lots lots of stuff in the works finally getting active and energized and working on what i love which is telling you guys ghost stories and yeah hopefully you guys i'm glad that i'm back because i'm glad I, i've been gone for so long and this condition kind of took over my life for a long, long time. So, yeah, I'm back and ready to tell you some more ghost stories. And of course, the life and ghost of Sir Matthew Billy Bigby. Thank you. Judge. <laughs>